Um, was that fast enough for you, Bo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, sometimes I, I just get a little bit excited, and all of a sudden, about halfway through a song, I'll, <laughs> when he's doing a lead, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to hear about this. <laughs> Awful good warm-up, though. So, the Jubilee was a wonderful thing for Springfield and for this area. And it broadcast from uh, 1954 up until about 1961. And then something had to do with baseball. They, uh, they took the broadcast off of the Saturday night and it pretty much ended. And there was a mass exodus to Nashville. And my daddy did not want to move to Nashville. He had already tried, you know, playing out on the West Coast. Um, he just liked being in the Ozarks, but he still loved writing songs and he loved staying in connection with the people, the friends that he had met. So his friends, the Wilburn brothers, called him in about 1962 and said, you know, we got this little girl that just signed to Decca Records, which is MCA Records now. And at that point in time, she was not writing any of her own songs. And so dad sent this one and it was the very first top 10 hit for Miss Loretta Lynn. Yeah. I love this song, I, um, I call it a cautionary tale. And uh, it was also recorded by Sinead O'Connor, which when that happened, I said, oh my, I said, Dad, the only thing that you two have in common is your bald head. <laughs> and then Elvis Costello actually did a rendition of it. It's, um, it's uh, got some good words to it. It's called Success. <laughs> Yep, here we go. The quarters are going to start flying. We used to go out walking hand in hand. You told me all the big things you had planned. Wasn't long till all your dreams came true. Success put me in second place with you. You have no time to love me anymore. Since fame and fortune knocked upon our door. Success made a failure of our home. Thank you. 